morning and a blessed Thursday morning to you. Would you open up your Bibles, please, to John, the 21st chapter, John chapter 21. I'd like to share with you a little bit today about some more of the resurrection appearances of our Lord. So in John, the 21st chapter, beginning with verse 4, it says this, Just after daybreak, Jesus stood on the beach, but the disciples did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to them, Children, you have no fish, have you? They answered him, No. He said to them, Cast the net to the right side of the boat, and you will find some. So they cast it, and now they were not able to haul it in, because there were so many fish. That disciple whom Jesus loved said to Peter, It is the Lord. Such an intriguing verse, I think, in verse 4, that when it says that Jesus stood on the beach, but the disciples did not know that it was Jesus. What we see in Scripture is that after the resurrection, others didn't immediately recognize Jesus either. For example, turn over to John chapter 20, please. John chapter 20. And picking up in verse 11. But Mary stood weeping outside the tomb. As she wept, she bent over to look into the tomb, and she saw two angels in white sitting where the body of Jesus had been lying, one at the head and the other at the feet. They said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, They have taken away my Lord, and I do not know where they have laid him. When she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there, but she did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? Supposing him to be the gardener, she said to him, Sir, if you've carried him away, tell me where you've laid him, and I will take him away. Jesus said to her, Mary. And we see then that as Jesus calls out to her, then she recognizes that it's Jesus. Well, there's also another example over in Luke, the 24th chapter. If you turn there, please. Luke chapter 24, picking up in verse 13. Now, on that same day, two of them were going to a village called Emmaus, about seven miles from Jerusalem, and talking with each other about all these things that had happened. While they were talking and discussing, Jesus himself came near and went with them. Now here's the verse. But their eyes were kept from recognizing him. Once again, we see that these examples here where Jesus wasn't immediately recognized after the resurrection. What we see in Holy Scripture is that the eyes of people, us included, have to be opened. And God uses word and sacrament to open up the eyes of people so that we recognize. So as we see in these resurrection appearances, them not recognizing Jesus and their eyes having to be opened, why it's the same thing for us, isn't it? It's the same thing for all people. God has given us an amazing, amazing calling, an amazing privilege that we are the ones that proclaim the gospel through which God brings people to faith. God opens their eyes so they recognize Jesus as the Messiah. That's an amazing call, isn't it? It's an amazing purpose. It's what gives joy, isn't it? That we, we are the ones that God uses to proclaim the gospel and that God uses that to bring people to recognize Him. Let's pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time in your word. Your word is truth. We thank you, Lord, that you use us to be proclaimers of the gospel. 
and that you use that gospel message that we proclaim, those seeds that are planted, and you bring people to faith, opening their eyes so they recognize you. Thank you, Lord, for this calling. Thank you for this amazing privilege. Thank you for the joy of proclaiming the gospel. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you, and may God bless the proclamation of the gospel. Encourage someone.